Hi everyone, it's me, Arlene, from Delicious Delight channel. How are you guys doing? Hopefully well. So today I want to talk about Giorgio Armani In Love With You Freeze. This is obviously a flanker of In Love With You. Um, the bottle is the same, but it comes in this like frosted glass uh, thing. It's, it's a pretty bottle and it felt really nice holding the bottle. <laughs> you know sometimes when you hold a perfume bottle and it just feels like it was made for your hand to hold? That's what I had with this. It's kind of weird. I have that with a few bottles, uh, namely uh, the Angel, the Angel Star bottle. That feels really nice. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the bottle, if I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, the bottle is probably the best thing about this fragrance. Uh, the juice inside was quite frankly disappointing to me. So before I get into that, let's get uh, into the notes first. Uh, the top notes are bergamot, cherry, pear, and mandarin orange. In the middle we have jasmine, sambac, peony, and lily of the valley. In the base notes there's patchouli, vetiver, musk, and woody notes. Okay, so with all of those <laughs> notes in mind, uh, if you guys have smelled a lot of new releases from the past year, women's designer new releases, I will say if you smelled those, then you can probably, then I think it's safe to say that you have smelled something like this already. Uh, Freeze in Love, In Love With You Freeze is basically a variation of a very familiar accord that I pick up in a lot of new women's release perfumes. So if you've smelled Scandal by Night, Elisa, Le Parfum Royale, uh, Paco Rabanne, Olympia Legend, uh, Tank Replay for Her, Valentino Born in Roma, and there's like a whole bunch, I've mentioned these so many times on my channel, um, it seems like those fragrances are pretty much the same fragrances but the notes have been tweaked a little to make it like slightly different. Just slightly, but I guess the base accord is, is common in all of these fragrances and I'm, and it's really, really annoying. <laughs> uh, this is not an original scent at all. As I said, it's a very familiar scent. So basically, Armani has now jumped on this gravy train of this familiar fruity, creamy, coconutty, intense, fruity kind of accord um, that, uh, as I said, is super, super familiar, at least to my nose. Uh, but okay, let's talk about this variation, uh, this version, Armani's version of this familiar scent. Uh, the opening ha is more, pr uh, sorry, the opening is more focused on the heavier base notes of the patchouli and the musk, pretty much overtaking the familiar fruity, berry, coconutty, uh, creamy, thick scent that's familiar, as I said. Uh, so just, yeah, just think of those heavier base notes really uh, just coming at you right at the beginning <laughs> when you first spray it on your skin. As this fragrance dries down, uh, the fruitiness in here seems to get stronger and stronger and stronger and eventually taking over the opening of the heavy patchouli musk um, opening. <laughs> so it's just a fruity, fruity, fruity scent. Uh, creamy, fruity, thick, cloying. It is very, very cloying on me and it actually felt me, made me feel a little bit uncomfortable. Um, I was just kind of annoyed with this fragrance, if I'm just going to say it bluntly. Um, if I can choose any of the other perfumes that I just mentioned that it's similar to, that it's most similar to, I would say Tank Replay for her. If you guys have tried that fragrance or if you ever see it in the store, please do check that one out because it has the same familiar fruity berry, <laughs> intense fruity, thick creamy berry fruity scent, um, but at a very, very uh, much cheaper price point. I saw this tank replay for her for I think 15 euros recently in the store. So if you want to get the same effect, you can probably get away with it with uh, buying that alternative. But 
Yeah, uh, I guess the plus sides, the pros, the positive things about this fragrance is, as I said earlier, the bottle is nice. It feels really nice and heavy, and I like that. It feels just weighted, and I, I like that feeling. It makes it feel more luxurious to me and, I guess, more expensive. <laughs> um, it doesn't smell chemical to me. It just... I mean, I won't say it, this fragrance stinks. No, not at all. Uh, it's just so familiar that it's like, I kind of, yeah, it's just unoriginal and just very disappointing. Um, also, the name kind of threw me off, the In Love With You freeze, where I was expecting something refreshing and cold and like pretty much like ice cubes, because I guess the bottle kind of also suggested uh, this cold, refreshing ice cube feeling with the frosted glass. Uh, but on me, it's not at all cold. It doesn't feel cold at all. Um, it is refreshing, yes, with this really intense fruit scent, but um, not cold. So I'm, I guess on my skin, it didn't bring out this, what it's trying to do of like reminding you of like a cold, maybe cold winter or something like that. It was pretty much like room temperature, a fruity coconut salad, basically, where they kind of overdid it on the fruit. And it got so intense that I felt like I was literally choking when I wore this perfume. So very very one-dimensional perfume in my opinion the only transition was in the beginning where you got more of the base notes and then in the mid and dry down the base notes uh, faded away into the background and then that big fruit coconut salad took over uh, that was kind of interesting I guess <laughs> usually it's the other way around where the top notes fade first but no this was backwards I'm not sure how they did that, but it was at least interesting to experience that. But um, yeah, redundant release. Not impressed by this one. Smells okay. Uh, it smells fine enough, but kind of boring, I guess, and um, disappointing. So sorry that I didn't have better news for you or better uh, positive thing, more positive things to say about it, but that's what I feel and I hope you guys appreciate it regardless. And you can hear dogs barking in the background. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this review. Um, that was my honest opinion. If you guys want to share yours uh, in the comments, please do. And I hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.